Hello there. Only one Kenobi here. Only one. And I'm going to open this for you. This is Jabba's Throne from 2010. Hasbro, three and three quarter inch. Um, I bought this because of the fact that there was so many conversations going on about, you know, the Rancor, the Haslab, the Doomed Project, or whatever, the stuff that's going on. I chucked in my two penneth as well, and I made a video. And because of that video, and I was looking at the Rancor and hearing people's talks or thoughts on Malakili and Ula, where are they? And I looked at my own collection, and this is the... Jabba's Palace playset that came in 2019 for the vintage collection. No throne, but you got that playset there, which is quite a good diorama piece. And I was sort of like filming Malakili, and I thought to myself, I really, you know, I should have Ula. I don't have Ula. I must get her. So I did my research. I know you can get one with Power of the Force 2, but I always thought she looked very gangly, too tall, too lanky. So I continued my research, and I found this Ula here, which is a great looking figure. Look at that. That's Super articulation that, you know, very vintage collection that, although this isn't the vintage collection, but that's how they'd scale him and do her if they did it in that line. Um, and so that's probably the reason why I, I closed the deal on this. Plus, you know, I fancy having a, a jabber on a throne, you know. I've got a really good jabber in the barge. So they gave us one then, and I'm really surprised they didn't follow it up and give you a jabber set um, on a throne like this, like reissue this. Although here's the issue I want to talk about. They're never going to give you Ula again. And we're sensing all of us now that they are trying to avoid any, if they're going to change the name of the Slave One to Fire Spray, if they're never going to give you a Slave Lair again, they ain't going to give you a Slave Ula. You know, I'm not advocating slavery or in the imprisonment of good dancing girls, but it's a, it's a fictional, it's a movie, isn't it? It's a gangster film. He's a gangster, a, a bad doer who meets his demise at the hands of a female Powerful female, the force is female, blah, 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 <laughs> Leia. Still, you're never gonna get Ula again, it seems. So I thought, well, I better get her now. So I paid quite a lot of money for this. I'm not gonna tell you how much here. I have a Patreon video where I fully divulge the prices, if you wanna check that out. But the thing is that I can tell you this, it's a lot more than it used to be if you were to buy it from on the shelves back then, back when. But it's, I tell you what, I got it for a lot less than it also goes for on the internet loads of money so i thought snag it and take one for the team and push that we need this in tvc but if we get ula is a different matter altogether so enough waffle let's spin this on so it's great artwork this this is not the legacy collection i thought it was tell you what though the packaging is not a million miles away from legacy collection um so this is it i've watched a few videos already i highly recommend you check out erin toy shelf reviews video because he's Amazing, that guy. He's the go-to guy if you want to watch a good review. I commented on his video and he said something back like, oh, I can't remember, something like, you know, well done or it's rare or good job in getting one. So that proves that, you know, it's um, it's hard to get. So I, I had to get it. Have I shown you everything about the packaging? Let's just double check it. There's the base. I do like that blue. Reminds me of the Legacy Falcon as well. But it's not Legacy, apparently. It's the, um, it's got a name. I'll have to put it up on the screen. Erin says... There he is. I had Jabba the Hutt as a kid as well. I loved it. Except he sat on, not on a throne, but he sat on a mock-up of the, the the grid, the grill that he has, that he can see into the chamber where the Rancor is. Um, which is a lovely design, that. It's a classic Star Wars pattern. Um, I think I'm going to get him open. So it comes with, uh, includes a removable Jabba the Hutt, obviously. Uh, includes a uh, dancing girl, Ula. See, it's just a dancing girl. She's at the end of a rope. You know, that's part of the film. Why don't you just you know, edit the film if you've got such a problem with it, you know. I don't know. That's the, that's the general consensus that they just don't want to give you Ula no more. Um, includes removable salacious crumb. Jabba's throne. It's about time I gave this guy, let this guy breathe, right? Let's get him open. I trust it's never been opened before. The guy who sold it on eBay didn't have it up for offer either. He accepted my offer and I messaged him. So I appreciate that. And the photograph showed that it had not been broken, the seal. So, there you are. <laughs> right. Let's have our first look. I get this higher or just go handheld? Let's go handheld. All right, there we go. Look at that. What I'm really interested to know is how, how well that's aged. Apparently they can deteriorate. See, the skin of the Jabba can go slimy 
And uh, yeah, this is definitely mint, ladies and gentlemen. Never been opened that. Very, very good, Mr. Ventura. Where the hell is Ula? What have I done with the dancing girl? Oh yeah, she's just there. There she is. Yeah, they got Ula back, didn't they, for the special edition, the actress who played her. You know that bit when they, you see her going into the chamber? Never saw that in the original trilogy. Um, they filmed her 20 years later, so she's obviously, well, well, she's got makeup on, so but she'd aged quite well. She looked just as she did in 83 or 82 or whenever they filmed it. Right, look at that. What a great character. Now, here's my plan, right? Originally, I was going to put this jabber inside my barge, and then the barge jabber I was going to put on this throne because I thought the one in the barge looked great. In fact, I will compare them for you, so stay tuned. But actually, it's not as green as I thought. I've seen videos where he looks, well, he does look very green. And I don't think, I don't remember Jabba being that green, but you're going to see him from the front. That that face has got a lot of, look at the character in that face. I think that's better than the one that was in the barge. That's my first opinion. The one in the barge is brilliant and the tones match what you see on screen, I think. But look at that. What a character he is. I know my mother likes Jabba the Hutt because she saw a figure. I think I showed her when the barge arrived. She saw it and she said, oh, I like him. <laughs> and then I said, he's a bad guy, you know, Mum. And she said, oh, is he? No. Oh. oh, I don't want him to be a bad guy. I thought he was a goodie. <laughs> Look at the hooks there. Very good. Right, do you know what I think I need now? Monkey music. Oh, just to let you know, yeah, he, he does feel slimy. Can you see my fingers there? Can you focus on it? It's like almost like a little bit of a residue on there. It just sort of smells of um, plastic or something, but who cares? He's supposed to be slimy. That's great. It's not too bad. It's not like it's not deteriorated or anything. It still feels thick. I tell you what, it feels a lot thicker than the neck of that attack. See that attack there? The membrane of the neck feels like it would just perish. But, you know, it's obviously not perished. I, th I, th I would not want a kid playing with that. They would rip it. Anyway, let's get on with this. There's Jabba. I just need to figure out a way of getting that crap out of his head. He is really... It'll come off that layer of residue, whatever that is. It's obviously just how it's reacted with the air over 20... 20? No, wrong. It's 12 years. Or is it 11? Round about. Decade. So, there you go. Excuse all these these figures under here that you see are because I'm, you know, changing shelves and stuff around. In fact, I added a new shelf. I removed the one that was there and I've added another 120 centimeter one for the, to the top of my prequels, which is good because that Anakin uh, pod race looks really good. Coming down on that angle. Right, here we go. Here's this. Ah. Just move everything across a minute so you can see what's going on. I was going to save this for Christmas Day. I'll make it an upload for Christmas Day, but uh, in the end, I thought I want to get it out there. It's topical, you know. It's it's all about the Ula, baby. Ula no, no Ula no Mula. I like that. Whoever came up with that phrase, was it Yak Face? Right, what have we got here? Oh, there's the set there. Look at that. That brings back vintage memories. Wow. Look at that. I can only focus. Great. There he is. Ooh, Jabba is proper slimy, man. Everywhere I've sat him, there's like... A... It's quite authentic, really. Look at this. If you, if you lift him up, it's gone now. But there was a faint layer of... See, look at that. Can you see that? Now, that's not... Per... You know, that that's like a layer of... I've seen that before on some figures. I can't remember who it was. I'll have to try and think... Wrap my brain there as to what figure it was. Let's get this set up. So he goes that way, doesn't he? The belly at the front and he'll dry out I guess 
Now, that's great. That I don't want a curler's tail. Apparently you can, but all the reviews say that you can't. I can feel a piece there. Yeah, I suppose you can a bit, but I quite like him stretching out. He fits on just about. Yeah, he's cool, man, isn't he? What a, what a governor. If I get that, I think that needs to go like this, does it? Going around the side like a chaise lounge. Pull up the chaise lounge where we are. Yeah. It's all right, that's coming off bit by bit. Now what else do we have here? There's this. That pipe looks pretty cool, doesn't it? And then this. Maybe that plastic is aged, I don't know, has it gone yellow? I don't know, I wouldn't know. It doesn't matter because it looks that kind of color and that way cloudy in, um, you know, in Return of the Jedi. So he's got some articulation as Crumb. Yeah, he's got a ball joint there. It's an all right size. I prefer the size of the one that came with Amana Man, who's up on the shelf there, stood with Boba Fett. I don't think you can see him. If you can see a Boba Fett in the middle there, Rummer's with him. Look at that Jabba, looks great, doesn't he? Such a slime, such a slimer. All right, let's get this open. This should be the pillows. Great. Again, excuse the stuff underneath that you see. I might get rid of that so you can... This is just stuff that I'm temporarily putting there because I'm figuring out my room. So you've got that end piece there, which I'll put on. This has wheels, by the way, as it's been stated in other reviews. I did show you the base before, but I'll show it again. So you can recreate that uh, bit when it slides forward. GG Jedi, GG Jedi, or whatever he says. He says that again on the bar, you go, GG Jedi. Maybe that means like fake Jedi. <laughs> he thinks he's Jedi. Thinks he's Jedi. I don't know what he's saying. Anyone speak hutties? These pillows do look good. Gives it a bit of uh, homeliness. There's loads of them. You see, you, you know, you see Salacious sat on them. That could potentially, because that's got a bit of, goes that way, it could sort of like brush up against them, couldn't it, like that? Something, I don't know. I'll go to the edge there like that. They're brilliant. I really like those. The only thing I don't like about this set is the price I paid because it's a lot of money. <laughs> a lot of a lot of walnuts. Do you know what's really good? I've got a slave layer. I had the sandstorm one, but my friend Lau sent me the actual VC sixty five, is it, or sixty two or sixty four? One of those. He sent it to me and uh I uh, have nowhere to put her. I had nowhere to put it because, yeah, I just didn't. The only way, you, the only place you can put Slave Leia is on the, on his throne. And so I can do that now. This goes in here. The frog's in there. It's like a bong and snack jar all combined, is it? I think this goes on the end here like that. Is that right? Yeah, it is. Pipe can unravel. I like the pipe just like that. Put that in his hand. Great. <laughs> Jab of the hook, man. What a what a boss. This guy can sit on the end. Or somewhere. Quite big that room. He can sit on his tail. Look at that. He can Aha! See, I don't like the scar that this jab has got. The other one doesn't have that in the barge, right? So. I mean, if that's accurate, then great, but he can sit just on that like that. Great, on the end of his tail. The story of Rum is that, he, I, keep, I just called him Rum. The story of Crumb is that, I think that he was going to eat him, wasn't he, Jabba? And he just, he made him laugh, so then he kept him. He was trying to eat him. Jabba was trying to eat him. There you are. I'm going to leave it for another video, probably, when I set this up with my uh, shells, you know, because I, I can, I'm in the middle of, sorting shelves and stuff, but I just thought I'd get this set up like this. But the last thing I need to do for you is get the dancing girl out there, you know? 
Ula, the dancing queen, she is seen down at Tatooine. Oh, yeah. Let's give you your first look at Ula. When I see her face, I think of these lines from Luke. I know you're a powerful, mighty Jabba. And your anger with Solo must be equally powerful. Something like that, he says. I seek an audience with your greatness. The bargain for Solo's life. <laughs> Straight away laughs at that, doesn't he? He didn't know what, quite what force he was dealing with, Jabba. I think he got a little bit complacent that day, and it cost him. It's the last mistake you'll ever make. We're threatening that from Luke, innit? I suppose that uh, aggressive negotiations were the only way forward at that point. He'd exhausted all other options. <clears throat> Right, so she's on the end of a leash there. Right, so let's get her out. Well, oh, she's also on the end of loads of bloody elastic bands there. Bear with me, ladies and gentlemen, will you? But that is a great figure. If you're gonna get, if you, if you're gonna get a, an Ula by choice, who wouldn't choose that one? Get her in any position, no doubt. That's a great Ula, that. So he's got the leash, so you can either put that in his hand, I guess, or on the end of the thing. You could, you could probably thread from the chain, the, uh, the, sorry, the hook, the hook, through to his hand, so then he could obviously have double. So if you let go of the thing, she could still not escape. But, um... I mean, what was that all about in Return of the Jedi? They started squabbling. Is that because he wanted to get her into the Rancor for a bit of entertainment? The, the pit? I thought he was just like trying to get her, get her close to him, like because she's so gorgeous, and he was like trying to reel her in, and she just resisted, and then she pulled a bit too hard for his liking, and then he pulled he he pulled the trigger, but um, it might be that he just was getting bored, and he just thought, right, I'm going to put you in the pit now, your turn. <laughs> I just don't know, but I love Jabba the Hutt. Sat on the end there like that. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever, I'll sort that out in the fullness of time. Look at that. So you have got Jabba the Hutt, he's got his two bitches, yo. Respect. Brilliant. I think that's all I need to show you. If I've missed anything, I do apologise, but... I'm very glad to get Ula. That Jabba the Hutt is brilliant. That's the other one, right? Which is good, but you know something? That is better. That is well better. Do you know something? Wow. That has to be the best jab of the hut they've made in three and three quarter inch. And it ain't too green. On Aaron's video, he does a lot of spinning, so you see the back of it a lot. The back of it is very green. I prefer just a dark color, like the tones in Return of the Jedi. A bit like the Rancor, right? The legacy... Rancor versus the Haslab one. I thought the Haslab one looked too too light brown. Whereas that one is very much the colours that you see in the film, which is probably why they made it that colour, to, to reflect the lighting and the actual colour seen on screen. Whereas maybe the Haslab is more accurate to, um, you know, the actual flesh of the creature, if they've looked at props and whatever else. Photographic um, archive stock or whatever, but I'll tell you something, <coughs> that ain't as good. I used to think that kicked ass, that jabber. That does. Look at that. Awesome. So if you can get that set, you know, I wish you all the very best. You might be able to get it for cheaper than I did, but don't go mad on budget because it can go for a lot of money, this. But really, Hasbro, it's about time you gave us Jabba the Hut again, three and three quarter inch. And what the hell? Why the hell not? Give us all the two, huh? Think about it. Ho, 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 ho. Nevertheless, thank you for watching. I have been only one Kenobi. Only one. Out.